Well, local ballots could soon have a new home at an old brewery. The Dane County Clerk's Office plans to renovate the old ale asylum on the city's north side and turn it into the new election center. NBC 15's Marcus Arzold took a tour of the facility and Marcus, this won't change where people vote, but it could change where election workers are based. Yeah, if approved, the old ale asylum building near the Dane County Regional Airport would become the main storage facility for the Dane County Clerk's Office, housing ballots, equipment, and everything election related. Election officials in Wisconsin and Dane County are leaving election administration because they do not feel safe. Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald says safety for election workers is the main reason he's hoping to move from East Washington Avenue to a more secure location near the airport. Election officials have been harassed and received death threats just for doing their job. He says election deniers tried to get into their old building. The new facility only has one entrance, so he feels his team would be safer. It's hard to deal with. Uh, honestly, the lies that were, I mean, I'm constantly having to reply to accusations that some of which are just nuts, honestly. City clerks could also work out of the centralized facility. McFarland clerk Cassandra Sittinger is looking forward to it. Clerks are a proud brunch. We love the work we do. We love being the backbone of democracy. But at the end of the day, we have families that we want to go home to. So um, really grateful to have a a partnership in the county who uh, backs us and believes in our safety and is committed to it with this facility. McDonald says voters won't see much of a change. The election center is mainly for election workers counting ballots. From the point of view of like a voter talking to their clerk, I don't think anything changes from that point of view. Um, the elections are still going to be held at the town hall. Um, they're still there to answer their questions. The $18 million project still has to go through three committees, then a final full county board vote on November 2nd. The entire interview with the Dane County Clerk is available to stream on our website, NBC15.com. Live in the studio, Marcus Arzvold, NBC15 News.